In the last class, a question came up about making selections within selections, and there is a way to do that in ArcMap. So let's say, for example, that we were working with the breast cancer death data, and we wanted to first select a particular state, and then select, uh, let's say, the, f uh, the top five counties that had the highest number of breast cancer deaths within that particular state. So there's a couple of advanced ways to do this, but a very easy way to do it from within just the layers attribute table is to simply click on the layer, right click, go to open attribute table, and let's start with the state that we're interested in. So if we scroll over to the state name column, we can select state name, and let's say that we're interested uh, first in Wyoming. I can right click on the column header for state name and click descending. And now in my attribute table I can easily identify Wyoming. So as a first step, one easy thing I can do is because there's a limited number of records, I can click on this little gray box to the left here selecting the lowest record for Wyoming and holding down my left button I can select all the records for Wyoming. Now if I go down here I can tell the attribute table to only show me the selected records by clicking on the selected button which will in essence remove all the other states from consideration. And if I move my table out of the way we'll see that indeed Wyoming is highlighted. Now, what I'm really interested in, though, is the number of breast cancer deaths by county. And in particular, I'm looking for the top five. So I already know that the column that I'm interested in is this one right here, the C total 7094. So now that I have a selection and I've removed everything else, I can actually do a selection within a selection simply by right-clicking on the column header again and doing the same thing, sort descending. And now I have my counties ordered by the number of breast cancer deaths. So from here it's pretty easy to simply highlight the top five. Now if I look at my map I'll also see that I have not only Wyoming highlighted but those five counties. Now I could take this one step further and if I wanted to I can actually create a selection layer from what I've highlighted. To do that I simply right click on the layer, go down to selection, and click the second to the last option, Create Layer from Selected Features. Now, turning off the first layer, I'm only looking at Wyoming. I can now go into this subset of the data, and scrolling over to the last column one more time, I can sort cancer deaths highlight those five records again, minimize my table, go back, right click this time on the selection layer, and do the same thing. Create layer from selected features. Now zooming in, I have a nice subset created not only of Wyoming, but also of those selected counties. And I can pretty easily verify this a couple of ways, either by opening up the attribute table for my selection, and making sure the right records were picked, or I can always use the identify button and simply click on the county that I'm particularly interested in. Now just a reminder 
we didn't actually create any new shape files. These are essentially an in-memory selection. So to make any of these final, for example, if I wanted to create a brand new shape file out of either one of the selections that I've created, I can right click on the selected subset, go down to data, and finally go to export data, and that will allow me to create a brand new shapefile.